Oh, Assalamualaikum semua. It's Mon Berg here. Before that, let's Berg Tivation. Okay? So for those yang dah nampak, you know, the reason why I always do Berg Tivation is because to motivate myself to start a day with a smile. Kenapa? Because smile tu adalah salah satu dia mencari rezeki. Okay? Ah, oh, gelap ah. Facebook ni. Yep, ah. Okay, Facebook. I'm now currently live. Hi, Alin. Hi, Lin Rosman. Hey, my old kawan mendengar. Okay? So, uh, I just want to share with you guys something that I've learned today. What up, Nai? Good morning. Okay? Doakan you guys. Semoga dimurahkan rezeki di pagi ini. You know, I just doa for you guys. Thank you so much. And also, yesterday, I met a few of my friends. And they said, like, you know, I was doing my... Currently, recently, like I said, um, currently, I'm in the process of... Um, reflecting myself, what have I done for this 2019, okay? Kita dah lagi berapa hari ke... Oh, hari ni dah on the trough. Lagi berapa hari ke next year? One, we have like what? One, two, three weeks before... Three weeks before... Um, you know? Three weeks before New Year. Aku nak cakap nationally. Okay, it's three weeks before... Uh, 2019. So, anda ready, betul-betul dah ready, okay? So, the best is to reflect yourself, what have you done, you know? Sometimes, at times, sejujurnya, I feel like I want to quit this motivation thing, doing it live. Tetapi, Alhamdulillah, I know that, that somewhere out there, I'm helping someone, you know? It's a, it's, it felt better, you know? Alhamdulillah, you know? Uh, yesterday, I met a friend of mine and went check out, actually, Mon, what have you done for these past few months you have been helping a lot of us you have been motivating us you dah banyak beri ilmu i say thank you so much alhamdulillah thank you so much to all my cikgu cikgu yang helping me out to push myself to where i am right now alhamdulillah okay so what happened is today morning um semalam flat you know i met a friend of mine but that ame thank you for watching the second day of your day okay um semalam yeah i met a friend of mine inshallah i will be having apprentice Someone who will be helping my record label. Someone who will be helping me out on my label to push ourselves. We came up with a new strategy. We came up with a new plan. We're not going to stick to the old style of independent record label. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to follow the current what US punya label, independent record label are doing. Okay, so if you guys want to know more, boleh pian tepi. I could share with you guys what to go right now, what to aim right now. Okay, so we are working on that process because benda ni, the business solution, the business formula and strategy that the uh, US are doing, it's already the other result. So what you want to do is to implement to your business. So this is what I'm doing and I berbual-bual dengan dua dari petang sampai malam, terus flat. Okay, and today morning I woke up, nak solat subuh and then tidur sekejap. <laughs> what up Amalina? Okay, so... Uh, tidur sekejap and I woke up and I was like, okay, hari ni aku penat gila. So what should I do? Yesterday I talk about 101 dreams. Macam mana kita nak capai impian kita. Start writing 101 impian. Okay. Ambil paper kosong, tulis 101 impian, write. Okay, write it that yang you dah capai. It will definitely motivate you insyaAllah. Cuba try. Okay. So what happened is that I already write my dreams and then I, 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 I'm trying to stretch my mind right now. Because I know right now, bila aku penat, aku pakai 20% of my mind. Bila aku fresh like this, it's 60 to 70. So right now, I'm putting pressure to myself to push myself to 101. Okay. I'm trying to put my mind, buat lagi banyak dan terbaik apa yang aku boleh buat. Okay. And it's the art of speed. At the end of the day, semua benda nak laju. Tak ada orang nak benda slow. Okay, so that's one of it. And then, um, you make the power of choice. So what happened is, lepas solat subuh, I realised boleh balik dan tidur. Tidur and then bangun pukul 8. Che, lepas tu boleh start macam motivate over. Wey, what up? Good morning. Or, I could. The power of choice, dah bawa back. Dah bawa gym back. I make an effort to go down to the gym at 6.30. Di uji lagi. Security lambat nak buka pintu. So, what I do is, I make the power of choice, masuk the gym and exercise. You know, so that's what I did and Alhamdulillah. After that, dah bandi, dah bangun, it freshen up on my day, I feel a bit tired. I push myself again. You know, and then I was like, okay, hari ni aku nak membantu orang. Membantu dengan my Facebook life, my Instagram life. So that's what I'm doing right now to push myself on the next level. 
Okay, ada soalan. Okay, got any solution for people that suffer from insomnia due to lack of social skills? Insomnia ni, it's actually habit. You kena biasakan habit, you know. Uh, what I do is, okay, jujur. Dulu pun aku suka tidur lambat. Tidur lambat, tidur lambat. I make my effort to sleep at 10. To sleep at 9.30. And then Alhamdulillah right now, I sleep at 11.30 or 12. I woke up at 4. Every morning, nak bangun pukul 4. Okay, you can train yourself. Okay, you can start to change your body clock. You know, you got to change your body clock. Okay, memang malam tu dah dalam agama dah cakap dah. Malam untuk kita tidur. Tidur je. Pagi untuk kita cek meski. You know, tu pasal kadang-kadang I told you guys, kadang-kadang korang tak faham malam dan pagi. Pagi tu subuh. You know, if you want to do your music, okay, mungkin boleh tidur. You tidur. Lepas isyak, you tidur. You bangun subuh. You start your day. Okay. That's why you need to know, uh, you got to change your body clock. You nak jadi berjaya, insya Allah. You want to make success. Orang sukses yang I campur, yang I kenal semua kebanyakan bangun pukul 4. Okay, even my cikgu, my mentor are waking up at 4. So kalau diorang boleh, asal kau tak boleh. You know, they, they diorang bukan ada special hidung extra ke, uh, mata kat tepi sini ada dua ke. Nah, they are also the same people, normal people but tetapi your mind. You can stretch your mind, you control your mind. Macam tadi hari ni. You know, aku rasa aku penat. You know, if I if I push myself, I think aku malas lah, aku penat lah. Aku nak lepak lah. Definitely my mind says that aku nak lepak, I will lepak the whole day. But I told myself, no, I don't have the time. I need to push myself. I need to go harder, buat yang terbaik dari apa yang aku buat semalam. I'm going to push myself to the front lagi. Because kita dah tak ada time lagi. You know. 2018, you do your reflection, you tengok apa yang you tak buat, apa yang you buat, apa yang you nak improve. 2019, you dah tahu yang you ada maklamat dalam hidup. You want to achieve it. You want to push yourself. Okay, because I know myself, Alhamdulillah, uh, izin dari Allah. Dia dah tunjuk aku arah tuju mana yang aku nak pergi. That's where I want to hit down. Okay, thank you so much for the questions. Kalau korang ada questions ke apa ke, uh, do let me know. Okay. Uh, Sin, Sinata Sauce. Okay, I know you are a rapper. <laughs> um, insomnia ni is just habit lah. Change your habit. Start to sleep early. Okay, that's the best thing ever you can do. And uh, inshallah, you can apply. What if for mentally and physically tired? Okay, I'm always physically and mentally tired. You know, at times you can rest. Ada satu hari tu, but then you akan overhaul. That's where the time you tidur you all the way. You rest you all the way. Kalau let's say macam you, I know you have a family. Maybe you need to know when is your off day. And your off day too, don't do anything. You know, you got to free your mind. You can clear. Dia macam computer. Si Avi Avi kau on je. You know, kau kena switch it off. You know, so your off day, you appreciate your off day doing what you love. And don't do things that you need to do. Contoh macam kerja. You know, don't do your work. Try to push other things. And don't look at things like um, benda tu adalah satu kerja. Treat it that what you love, you know. Uh, that's what I learned. And actually I wanted to share with you guys about malas adalah kerjaan besar adalah hidup. But Alhamdulillah, <laughs> I managed to share with you guys a lot of things. Thank you so much yang tengah tengok. Um, just a tip lah. Malas adalah kerjaan besar adalah hidup. Tak ada orang yang dalam hidup ni rajin. Siapa yang rajin tu dia memang power but sebenarnya orang yang paling rajin lah orang yang paling malas. Tetapi dia control his mind. His mind is a very strong thing. Okay. So dia try to overtake it and he make the choice. Dia boleh jadi malas atau dia boleh jadi rajin. So you make the choice mana yang kau nak. You know it's how you do anything, it's how you do everything. Kalau benda kecil pun kau tak boleh, contoh macam kemas rumah ke apa kau tak boleh buat, jangan nak cakap you want to run a company ke apa ke, you can't do it. You know, because you can't even control small minor things. So you kena tahu apa yang you nak dalam hidup you, apa malamat hidup you and take small deeds, take small things to conquer. Lepas you dah overcome all this, insyaAllah you boleh buat apa yang you nak buat. Okay? Ada tak soalan lagi? Mentally and physically tired. Uh, morning Nasir, thank you so much for watching. Uh, ada tak question-question lagi ke? Thank you so much yang watch you. Kalau yang siapa watch siapa suka tu, maybe boleh press love. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the like on Facebook, on uh, IG. Okay, how to spread a message in Kuwait so that people don't misinterpret it? Um, take a pause, okay? 
you kalau nak deliver something dan you tak tahu, you kena tahu apa orang tu nak. Contoh kalau you nak tackle that girl, kan? You tahu dia jenis yang sensitif. So you janganlah buat benda cakap yang benda sensitif. You know, you got to uh, know how to overcome. One step forward, two step back and you try tanya diri you. Okay, what have you, uh, apa yang you nak tolong dia, you know, like how you want to say it. Say it in a nice way. Uh, treat it with a respect way. Cara you nak cakap tu, uh, give more respect. You boleh start with minta maaf, you know, contoh, bro, saya nak cakap ni bro, minta maaf eh. Uh, then you explain blah 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 blah. Uh, you boleh buat macam tu. Okay, kadang-kadang badan rasa dah nak minta ampun but whenever I look at my kids, penat lelah semua hilang. That is your big why, you know. That is your big why. That's where you control your mind. Badan kita ni, everyone has their potentials yang belum unleash. You know, uh, kita boleh buat something extraordinary. Contoh, kalau macam kita nampak anjing dan kita kena lari, you know that bila kita lari ni, it's very, tiba-tiba boleh longkang yang kita tak pernah loncat pun, it will be very fast. Kenapa? It's because you control your mind. Your mind is the most strongest thing tau. Yang buat, it it, it moves you. Okay, my nenek, kaki dia pernah patah and he, she can still divi. Until now, walaupun dia jalan slow, she doesn't believe that dia jalan slow. She has a strong mind and she's very persistent dengan apa yang dia nak. Uh, that's why I learn from her not to give up in whatever I'm doing. You know, because she has the persistence. Walaupun dulu dia tak belajar, dia tak dapat pergi sekolah, but that doesn't mean dia tak nak belajar. You know, she will take the newspaper and pass to me every morning to read for her. Because dia tak boleh membaca, tetapi keinginan dia, the desire that you have, You know, dia nak belajar sangat. They just take that suara khabar and ask me to read for her. And she learn from there. So kalau you nak sesuatu, nak tak nak, pucuk pangkal hati. You know, nak suibu dalil, tak nak suibu, uh, nak suibu daya, tak nak suibu dalil. Okay? Dalil don dalil lah. <laughs> okay, any last question? Thank you so much yang tengah watching ni. I really appreciate uh, yang, you know, teman aku this morning. Thank you so much. Uh, hopefully, dia akan bermanfaat kepada korang because memang tadi lepas solat, I doakan that I will help someone out there. I want to help people out there. Okay? So I consider myself as anti-social extrovert but I'm sure you know most of the time the things that I do in social media are based on satire. Okay? But my question in the past few years is Should I change myself to suit in with the kids with my age? No. Okay, just be yourself. Okay, kalau you nak blend in ke apa, one day you will get tired. Okay, just be yourself, be who you are. Everyone is special. Okay, everyone is born with a special gift. Dalam tiap satu ribu bayi, ada satu bayi yang ada the talent dia. So every Baby, every kid has a talent for themselves. Okay, I understand that you dalam proses, you nak memperkenalkan music you, you want to make people know you, but people know you because of your personality. Your rap move is because of your personality. Apa yang dia nampak kat TV you, that's the reason why they want to push you, they want to support you, they want to be with you. Just be yourself. Being with other people, you not blend in and you're not being yourself, one day you will get tired with who you are. You know, what you can do is just be yourself. Kalau you adalah orang yang macam, you know, like me. If I just like to share my ilmu, I just share. You know, if I'm not doing it, just do it. I just be myself. You know, we cannot win anyone. Dalam hidup ni, kita tak boleh nak suka semua orang dan semua orang tak boleh suka kita. You know, you are special. You have your own circles. InsyaAllah, kalau you belum dapat you punya own circles, it's okay. Just be yourself. Have fun. Hidup you pun at the end of the day, mati pun sendiri. Uh, Kubo pun you jawab sendiri <laughs> At the end of the day, you adalah Special and you just be yourself Tak payah nak kisah pasal apa yang orang cakap ke apa Lagi orang cakap, lagi bagus Because dia buat marketing untuk you huh. <laughs> Dia akan bilang kawan-kawan you So it's okay Alright Any last question? Last question lah, last question Alhamdulillah, today morning It's quite meaningful What up Emma? How are you? Shout out to players. Sticker, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, kalau tak ada apa-apa, apa-apa soalan, just feel free to PM, DM me. Alhamdulillah, thank you so much yang tengah tengok me live. I really appreciate today is a bit meaningful. I've learned something today. Um, berkat yang kita nak cari dalam hidup. You know, what we want to do in your life is berkat. InsyaAllah kalau kita dapat berkat tu, uh, walaupun kerja kita sikit, uh, kita akan buat. Uh, kita akan dapat lagi banyak. Rezeki kita berlipah. Berbiah hari ni. <laughs> Berbiah lah. Sultan Selangor birthday kan semalam. So hari ni mungkin mau ber birthday tak adalah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much guys. I really respect. Thank you so much. Hope to see you guys again every morning 8am. InsyaAllah kalau ada soalan ke apa, just feel free to stand by. Kalau betul-betul you are in need, I have someone who texted me when he wanted to plan to suicide. Alhamdulillah. I help to help him out. If you guys have anyone yang you perlukan bantuan, just feel free to PM, DM me. Wassalam. Thank you so much. Sign off. Mumber Kingsman.